What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Hot Action Fishing and Fab. My name's Curtis and this is my channel. Here's my new baby. Here's mama. And uh, he's five and a half months old now. He's doing great. Mama's amazing. She's the best mama in the world. Yeah. But I uh, wanted to show you guys a new project. And they wanted to come out and uh, be in the, be, be in the, the video. So, uh, But here's the boat. It's a 17 foot uh, Bass Tracker 1983. It's the exact one that I was looking for. I was looking at two other um, bat, uh, John boats on Facebook Marketplace uh, before I bought this one, and I got on offer up, and I found this killer deal. And this is the the haul that I want. Like I said, the other two they weren't quite the the real sharp V that I really like on these bass trackers or just these John boats in general. I keep calling them bass trackers. You know, it's a bass tracker, but it's a John boat. Um, this is the exact one I wanted. I found it for 800 bucks. Uh, I got two sheets of 060 aluminum, 12 foot by five foot. So, I'm, so I got damn near all the aluminum to do the whole boat. Um, I got a 50 horsepower uh, Mercury two stroke back there, which isn't gonna go on this boat. I'm gonna end up just putting the, the uh, Yamaha four stroke to 25 because it'll push this boat just fine, especially with the design that I'm looking to this. I'm gonna lighten it up a whole bunch. Um, but yeah, this is the way I bought it. The gentleman, he he uh, started to uh, rebuild it and uh, just, well, he didn't really do any rebuilding. He just took it all apart and uh, put it on the internet and sold it to me. So I'm pretty happy. Thank you again, like I said. Ivan, thank you um, for such a killer deal. But uh, it's going to be just a, a skiff like I've been building. I'm going to have a pulling platform on it, real simple decks. Uh, I am I'm thinking I'm gonna do actual have hatches and stuff again because the skinny water doesn't have any hatches And it was it is kind of nice to have a couple hatches here and there So because everything kind of slides out of the from underneath the front deck when you get on plane or when it's, you hit some rough water so uh, Obviously I could put like a lip or something that would keep stuff from sliding out, but I'm gonna end up just doing a, a, a big front hatch um, I'm gonna do a hatch in the rear deck and uh I'm gonna do something really special with the floor. Um, my friend Ron sent me a picture of his old John boat, so I'm gonna do like a little hat tip to his John boat because it's it was super cool. So I'm gonna end up doing a special floor in this boat, which I'm really excited about. But uh, yeah, this is the next project. I'm gonna do a I'll set do a video of me walking around the boat when I first got it, and uh, we'll get to taking this thing apart. I'm gonna set up a GoPro and start taking this thing apart. All right, in order to drill out all these rivets, I'm gonna pop this front panel off, pop, probably pop this panel off too while I'm popping this panel off. And uh, so what I'm gonna do to pull those rivets, I got a 1 16th drill bit, I got a 3 16th drill bit, I got a nice little punch, my little maul, my little bitty hammer, and a uh, nice pair of welpers, nice pair of pliers, and uh, a grinder, which I forgot to grab that, but That'll be all you'll need to uh, take this whole boat apart. But uh, I'm going to take out, like I said, that front part. I'm thinking about just maybe leaving this this uh, front bulkhead in and then maybe leaving that bulkhead in. And then I think I might just extend the deck to not really much further than here. Probably just to this first uh, bulkhead or rib, whatever you want to call it. All right, I figure out what I'm doing. I'm leaving this bulkhead in. I'm gonna this will be a full solid deck so this is gonna be a full solid deck and then there's gonna be a hatch right here in this deck I'm gonna extend the deck out to this bulkhead right here and uh, and then you're gonna be able to shove like stuff that you don't use all the time up underneath there um, and then have the deck there then all floor open floor plan open floor plan I'm not gonna do any gunnels or anything in this boat no gunnels and then uh, the back deck is probably gonna start where this bulkhead is I don't know if I'm gonna leave this bulkhead yet. We're gonna see what I can do with this. Um, but then the, I want the rear deck to go out and then jog back in quite a bit and then go flat and then jog back out and back to flat again, back there. 
So that's the plan with this rear deck. It looks should look pretty sweet. I seen an all all well, they're all built boat that was set up like that, and it was beautiful, and I loved it. So that's what I'm gonna kind of go for with that design. And then obviously we're gonna do a, a pulling platform because this is gonna be a pulling skiff. You need to center punch these solid rivets. They don't have a little hole to capture your drill bit like a pop rivet does. So you center punch it out so you can keep the drill bit from wandering. This is a cutting wax. You should use this on these abrasive cutoff wheels. It keeps the wheel from gumming up with aluminum, which could cause the wheel to blow up. It makes the cutoff wheel cut much smoother and the grinder not work as hard. It also, it's great to use on all your other tools for 10 to 20 bucks. You can buy these sticks of wax and it just makes much better cuts and your tools not have to work as hard. All right, this is how far we got last night. Got the thing completely gutted out for what I want to do with the front deck. That's pretty much, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Just work off of that. Um, I might change up this front part a little bit more, but uh, that's what we're going to work with right now. But uh, this whole transom is coming out. It's in really good shape. The wood's in really, really good shape and everything. But I want to do something different. I'm uh, going to pull out that old nasty wood and just do an all aluminum transom. So that's what we're going to start doing next. All right, I think I got all the bolts. Got everything all cut that I need to get cut. All the rivets all popped off. And uh, this thing should hopefully fall right out. And all right, there we have it. We have a gutted John boat. Um, yeah, this is everything I'm, I'm getting rid of on it. I uh, cut out the rear transom to the shape of my motor because it was a 20 inch transom. I dropped it down, actually only cut it down to 17 inches. Um, for my little 25 horsepower outboard, I'm gonna be running that CMC uh, power trim and tilt on this vessel as well. Uh, but yeah, this is where we're at. I got everything all taken out. Um, like I said, the next step, I'll probably end up doing uh, a transom, but uh, I'm leaving this. I'm pretty much determined that I'm going to cut out the front part of the bow, this this thing. I'm just going to end up just redoing the whole thing. Um, I got some cool ideas for it. Hopefully it comes out cool, whatever, but um, yeah, I think the transom's next. 
Um, I'm doing an all aluminum transom. I'm just going to, I bought some, uh, what is it, 2 inch by 3 16 aluminum angle. Um, and uh, that's what I'm going to use to build up, build out this transom. I think I'm going to end up cutting out these gussets. And uh, I've been just making my own gussets. But uh, yeah, this is where we're at right now. So uh, if you guys like where the, this build's going already, um, yeah, subscribe, like, share, do the whole nine yards. Uh, thank you guys again. Have a wonderful week.